Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're gonna to talk about secession. So for whatever reason, whenever I say the word secession, I always want to say the word succession. They're not the same word at all. They don't mean the same thing. I don't know why, but apparently it's a tongue twister for me. So I apologize if I happen to say that during this video. So today I want to talk about secession. Uh, I admit that when I first heard the idea of secession uh, a couple of years ago, maybe, as in like, hey, we should do that, like that's a thing that we should try to do, I thought that was ridiculous, I laughed it off, and I mocked the people who had suggested it to me. However, at this point, I have come around to the belief that secession of the states is the last chance we have of avoiding a civil war, of avoiding a real problem in this country. I say that fully aware that the last time we tried secession in this country, it resulted in a civil war. So I understand the historical context. Uh, however, there's a couple things I'd like to point out. One, in the Constitution, states have the right to secede from the Union. It is a right in the Constitution. It's there. It exists. It's a thing. States are allowed to legally secede from the Union. That, that's how it was set up. Whether you like it or not, that's their right. Two, who do you want to be in a country with? Uh, and what I say is if, if you're somehow on the left and you're watching this video, I believe that the presidential election was stolen because I, I, think, I think Biden, uh, it was rigged in Biden's favor, like they made up votes so that Biden would win. Uh, I believe in an unlimited right to bear arms. Uh, I believe in free speech. I don't believe in critical race theory and all of the accompanying garbage that comes with that. Um, I'm conservative, generally speaking. Do you want to live in the same country as, that, as me? Probably not. I mean, the, the way things have been is, is that we don't just disagree on surface level things anymore. Like, oh, you want to spend $500 billion on this government thing and I only want to spend $400 billion. So let's, let's work it out. We don't, we don't uh, disagree on stuff like that anymore. We disagree with things on core level principles. Core level principles. And, and we divide people into camps of you have this ethnic background or your skin is this color so you vote this way or you're, so you should believe this or whatever, which I think is total garbage, but that's a different discussion. My point being that the divides are identity level deep issues now. And it's not just, oh, we agree on central core American principles and, and we disagree in applications or we agree on central core American principles but we have some disagreements on how they should be administered or whatever. It's not that. It's a core disagreement level. I think that the problem with America currently is that we've lost our way from our founding principles. There are other people who would say, no, those founding principles were crap to begin with, and the only way to make this better is to find new founding, is to find new principles and move forward to those. That's irreconcilable. Those are irreconcilable differences. There's, there's no way to talk through or around that. So again, I don't want to be in a country with people who don't believe in the country that we're a part of, that, that, that's America. And I doubt they want to be in the same country as me because I, of course, am a block to their agenda. So and I don't say that maliciously. I just say that those are the facts on the ground. You cannot have a country with people who are not united around a core belief, particularly in America, where that's the entire thing that, that knits the country together, is our belief in the American ideals, the core American values. Now, what those are is even up for debate now, which, which is part of the problem. But if, if we, because America is not a, a country built on ethnicity, despite what some people will say, that's not a thing here. Uh, you know, we, we're not all German. If you go to Japan, it, there are 99% of people who live in Japan are Japanese, okay? It's very homogenous. That is not the case in America. We have people that were not born in this country that are citizens now. We have people that are second, third, fourth, hundredth generation people. We run the gamut, okay? We are ethnic, one of the most ethnically diverse countries in the world ever. Uh, that, that's, that's just the thing. So ethnicity is not what holds us together. Uh, it, it's unlike most nations in history, by the way, which ethnicity is what holds them together. So 
because of that, we, we, all we have are the principles, the founding American principles of what holds the country together. And because there's no agreement on what those are or what those should be anymore, how do you continue as a nation? So that's why I say, I, I think that at this point we've reached where we need reached a, a juncture where we need to balkanize and secede. And again, not in a malicious way, uh, but in a way to avoid getting avoid getting malicious, to avoid things getting worse. So show me another way. And I'm, I'm open to not to, to, to tabling the whole seceding discussion. I mean, I'll show me another way. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't see how that's possible. I don't see how we're going to vote to a conclusion. I don't see how we can talk this out. Um, I don't see any of that because the divides are so deep uh, on such an identity basis level uh, and are irreconcilable, like I said. There, there, there's not a way to talk through them. Uh, like the last time we had a civil war, some people wanted to completely eliminate slavery and some people did not. And so it ended up going to battle, right? Because there's no, there's no middle ground there. How do, you, how do you middle ground that? And I think that is the, the current issue with a lot of the political, current political landscape. There's no middle ground here. Either someone wins or someone loses. And the country, population-wise, is roughly split about half and half. Um, how do you reconcile that? How do you, show me a way to reconcile that. Because we no longer agree on what makes America, maybe it's time to break up America. I say that sadly because I love America. God, I love America. I love it so much. But in order to preserve her, I would be willing to split up the union. I'm sure, I'm, I know I'm not the first one to start to talk like this. I know I'm not the first one to put ideas like this forward. So I, I think it's definitely worth discussing though and it's definitely worth considering <clears throat> how do we make it through the next 10, 20 years or the next six months? How, how do we make it through without this going uh, Bosnia, right? How do, we, how do we do that? And I think the last effort that I see, the last ditch effort that I can see us trying to do for a peaceful resolution is seceding. That's all I got. Do brave deeds and endure.